So another key part of touring is coffee. Waking up in the morning, uh, especially for our tour manager um, who stays up late with us and grinds with us on Rocket League, uh, has to wake up early to help the crew and everybody, um, all the logistics happen in the tour. Um, so this is kind of his uh, glorified um, coffee setup. Um, so I, I conveniently need to make coffee before meet and greet. Uh, this is our scale. Um, this is obviously our, our pot. Uh, and uh, this is our coffee bean grinder. And then we usually keep our coffee beans in here. Uh, it's one of the best things about being on the road is going to coffee shops and buying beans and finding uh, kind of which ones you like and all of that. And then we have a V60 here filter um, that we're gonna get this going. And yeah, I mean, it, for, for, some, for some shows, the venues can be kind of out of town. And so it's kind of hard to get in town to get coffee, so we like to be able to make the coffee that we want right here. So that's how we do it. This is Public, uh, one of our favorite coffee shops in Salt Lake City. We got it a couple weeks ago, and uh, we're gonna make some coffee in Chicago. Right now, this is our scale. Um, I don't know if this is just our what we found really works for us, or if, like I said, Adam, our tour manager, has found this online. But where we kind of done the filters is I'm going to try to pour 20 grams of coffee beans. That's so, uh, 22, I'm going to take some off there. That's close enough. And we're going to put it in the uh, grinder. We'll grind that up. So grind it, and then we're gonna wait for the uh, the pot to get up to 202 degrees, so we can get this thing to go. So we're gonna put this back on the scale and tear it so it's back to zero. Um, and then once the water gets warm, we'll get the pot hot and put the beans on. So the water's up to 201. The filter and the pot nice and warm. Just a little glaze over there. When we're making coffee, uh, we like for the filters to be hot. So, so it has something to do with like when the coffee comes down, it's, it's already heated. Uh, I guess it's, what is it, just good for the like the temperature to just be like almost the same. Um, so even when, uh, before I pour coffee in here, I'll make sure and pour some hot water in it first and stir it up before I'm gonna pour the actual coffee in. Um, the beans are ready. So I, I kind of do my own system. I don't know if it's like the correct way, but um, I pretty much will pour it so all the beans are nice and hot so we can get like a bloom is what our tour manager calls it with those bubbles um, and I'll wait usually wait for about 30 seconds um, and then the, the secret number on this is 300 so it's 20 grams of beans and 300 um, poured in so we're, we're waiting it for it's kind of kind of blooming there getting some of the, the spices and the, the taste and all that stuff kind of bloomed up and ready to go yeah, it looks like it's kind of drying out there and so now we're just gonna just I like to keep my hand um, behind my back like a proper barista that I am I'm going into a circular motion that kind of you know it keeps the beans happy in there you know it keeps the beans flowing straight to the source and we're just gonna wait for that number to get up to 300. I'm gonna stop pouring. I'm gonna pour this hot water into that container, get it all nice and hot, and we're gonna be ready to freaking drink some coffee. So that's 305. Getting this uh, container nice and hot.
Yeah, so typically when we're looking for coffee beans, uh, like like I said, kind of at the, the more like our, our shops on the road that we love to go to, um, we like the lighter roast, um, usually coming from Africa. Um, you just kind of find that that kind of like rich taste uh, with a B60 really works, does the trick. So it looks like we're pretty much ready. It's the last little drip. Put that in the sink, let it drip the rest out. spillage there behind. and we are ready for meet and greet. Uh, I'm Judah from Judah in the Line. Thank you so much for watching me be a wannabe barista on the road. Um, it means a lot for checking it out. Again, uh, we're Judah in the Line. You can check out our stuff at judahintheline.com or any way you kind of uh, receive social media, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for checking it out. We'll see you later.